we've had a terrible difficulty trying to find a venue. We, we booked one venue. We, they were then piled on uh, and were intimidated into cancelling us. So we then booked the Conway Hall, which has a reputation going back nearly 100 years of hosting radical and progressive um, meetings there, you know, Communist Party had met there, you know, various kind of progressive left wing uh, bodies had met there. Jeremy Corbyn's mother and father met in the 1930s at Conway Hall at a rally uh, about the um, Spanish Civil War. Uh, but uh, they've even actually, uh, in the interest of free speech in the 1970s, hosted a meeting of the National Front, the fascist National Front. But when we tried to book it, well, we, in fact, we, we did book it and they accepted our booking. And we told them that we'd been cancelled by the previous venue. And we said that, look, when we go public with this, are you, are you OK for us to go public with the venue? Because you'll get some pushback. And they were very happy for us to do that. Then when we did, they you know, they got piled on and they said that they were subjected to uh, an unprecedented, um, I think it was the word to the effect of an unprecedented avalanche of intimidation. Uh, no, an unprecedented onslaught of intimidation, I think was the term that they used. And they said that they were fearful for the safety of their staff and their building. And so they, they cancelled us. Uh, but we've now found another uh, venue and we are not announcing that given what's uh, happened until the, the last uh, moment. So, yeah, I mean, we're, we're keen to kind of build a, a move. Well, I think there's, a, there's a, a lot of people yeah. out there who are Holy concerned. Can because, I, just, can of I course. interrupt you there? Because surely a venue like Conway Hall should understand if they're being intimidated, this is a matter for the Metropolitan Police. Precisely, and this is what I said to them. But not only have they, as far as I know, not re reported the people who are engaged in the intimidation, they have actually were threatening us with legal action for having the temerity to point out that they, they'd cancelled and that, uh, you know, we'd, um, we, we, we produced a, a screenshot of the letter that they sent to us cancelling us. Uh, and then they threatened us with, with defamation. I mean, it's an absurd state of affairs, you know. So, uh, yeah. It's, 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 it's a, a crazy topsy-turvy world that we're living in at the moment. But, you know, we're determined to press ahead with this campaign. And as I say, there is a lot of support, I think, out there. Uh, people are hoping that wiser heads will prevail because, look, this could escalate into a third, a third world war and the potential nuclear holocaust. I mean, we, could, we are literally facing an existential crisis here, literally. Uh, but people, you know, you, you would never know that from the from the the, the, the corporate news coverage who, who are just, I mean, basically they're NATO stenographers. It's, it, it's quite appalling. I mean, where are the real journalists these days in the corporate media? They don't exist.